स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो दिस इज लेक्चर नंबर 39 ऑलरेडी 38 लेक्चर कवर द सप्लीमेंटरी प्रॉब्लम सॉल्यूशन ऑफ दिस बुक वेक्टर एनालिसिस बाय एमर्स फाइजर यू नो दैट दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बुक फॉर फिजिक्स ऑनर्स एज वेल एज फॉर मैथमेटिक्स ऑनर्स एंड दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बुक फॉर आईआईटी जैम प्रिपरेशन आल्सो दैट्स व्हाई वी डिसाइड टू सॉल्व द सप्लीमेंटरी प्रॉब्लम ऑफ दिस बुक इन दिस वीडियो वी वांट टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम 5.32 टू 5.36 ऑफ चैप्टर 5 which consists vector integration okay so let's start with question 5.32 this says that the acceleration a of a particle of any time t greater than equal to 0 is given by this. this is the acceleration given the find the velocity v and displacement at 0 at t equal to 0 when t equal to 0 the velocity and displacement both are 0 find v and r okay so you need to <coughs> integrate <coughs> to get <coughs> sorry to get the velocity and the displacement so for velocity vector you know integration of a vector into dt so if you integrate this with respect to t what will you will get e to the power mi minus e to the power minus t i cap the integration of this is minus 6 within bracket t is t square by 2 plus t into j cap and this is minus 3 cos t t cap and some constant vector this is a constant integral vector constant vector to find this constant we have a uh, initial condition at t equals to 0 v equals to 0 so put this in the left hand side this is 0 in the right hand side e to the power 0 is 1 so this is minus i cap this is 0 and cos 0 is 1 minus 3 k cap plus a vector so what is the value of a vector a vector is is i cap plus 3 k cap right so the v vector equal to this a vector equal to this and this so the v vector becomes minus e to the power minus t i cap and this 6 is within 3 t square plus 6 t j cap minus 3 cos t k cap and vector uh, a vector is i cap plus 3 k cap right so the if you write in in this in the single i cap j cap it 1 minus e to the power minus t i cap and j cap is 3 t square plus 6 t j cap and the k cap is plus 3 1 minus cos t k cap so this is the velocity this is the velocity we got velocity at time t so what is the position vector position vector is integration v dt so if you integrate this uh, with respect to t you will get minus t minus of minus plus to the power minus t i cap and integration of this is t q by 3 this is t q and t square by 2 so this is 3 t square j cap and this is 3 t minus sin t Okay, with some another vector, b vector. This is also a constant vector, constant vector, right? So if we put the at t equals to zero, r is zero. So if we put this, so zero equal to this t is zero, uh, zero. It is that zero is one. So there is i cap. This is zero, and this is zero, zero plus b vector. So b vector is minus i cap. So if we put this is minus i cap and taken a common, so r vector equal minus i cap. So this is t plus e to the power minus t minus one i cap, right? And minus t q plus three t square into j cap plus three t minus sine t k cap. Okay. So this is the position vector. This is the position vector. Position. vector so we got the velocity and position vector and this is the solution of this question let's go to the next question 5.33 what is uh, in the question says the acceleration a of an object given by this a equal to minus g j cap where g is a constant at t equal to 0 the velocity is given by v equal to v0 cos theta 0 i cap v0 sin theta 0 j cap and displacement Equals to zero at t equal to zero. The velocity is here and displacement is there. Find the v and r. This description of motion project uh, projectile fired 
from a canon inclined of theta 0 with the positive. This is the information. This is not related to question. This is the information to know. This is a physical phenomena where we got this type of equation, right? So, to solve this question, at first we want to V. What is the V? This is nothing but integration A vector dt. So, put the A vector. This is G, Gj, Gj cap dt. So, this is nothing but minus Gt j cap with some another vector which is constant vector constant vector right so if you put the initial condition at t equal to 0 what is the value of v equal to v0 this so if you put this value just v0 cos theta 0 i cap plus v0 sine theta 0 j cap this is the Mm, what is the value? This is the v vector and this is t equal to 0. So, this will becomes a vector. So, if you put the v vector becomes minus g t i cap sorry j cap plus a vector equals to v 0 cos theta 0 i cap plus v 0 sin theta 0 j cap. So, if you take common i cap and j cap, so you will get v 0 cos theta 0 and this will becomes v0 sin theta 0 minus gt that into j cap right this into i cap and this is into j cap this is the v vector this is become velocity to find the position vector r is nothing but integration v vector dt so if you integrate with respect to time of this equation you will get v0 cos theta 0 into t i cap and this becomes v0 sin theta 0 t minus g t square by 2 and j cap with another constant vector v vector this is also a constant vector right so if you put the initial condition at t equal to 0 r equal to 0 at t equals to 0 r equals to 0 so, if you put this 0 equals to t0, so this becomes 0 and t0, this is also 0, this is also 0. So, b will give us 0. So, you will get r vector equal to v0 cos theta 0 into t i cap and this is v0 sin theta 0 into t minus g t square by 2 j cap. Okay. So, this is the position vector, position vector, right? So, this is the solution of this question. Let us move into the next question. This is the 5.34. Suppose a vector at t, t, uh, 2, this is the value and this, uh, a vector at 3, this is the value. What is the value of this? So, to find of this, if we want to uh, know the a dot a derivative of a dot a what will you get this d a d t dot a vector plus a vector dot d a d t just chain rule of product of the derivative and you know the dot product is commutative so this can be written as 2 a dot d a vector by d t so in this integration so two third a dot d a vector by d t uh, that into dt this can be written as nothing but half of 2 to 3 d dt of a vector dot a vector into dt dt, dt cancel out d of this the integration 2 to 3 d of a vector dot a vector you know integration and derivative can be cancelled out so this will becomes a dot a vector at 2 to 3 so this is nothing but a square 2 3 so if you put uh, this is nothing but a at 3 square minus a at 2 a at 2 square so you put a at 3 a at 3 is nothing but 8 at 3 whole square means uh, root under this so 4 square plus 2 square plus 3 square and minus 
this is 2 square plus 1 square plus 2 square. So, this is 4, 4, 9 and this is, uh, this 9 will cancel out. So, this is 16 plus 4, 20, 20 by 2, so this is 10. This is the answer of this question. Go to the next question. Find the aerial velocity of a particle that moves uh, along the path. This is the path uh, where a, b are omega constant. So, you need to find out the aerial velocity. You know from the k plus second law, the aerial velocity like that, if this is r and this is d theta, so this is r d theta, so area is nothing but half into base into height r d theta. So, what is the aerial velocity d d a? So, aerial velocity d a d t, aerial velocity, aerial velocity, aerial velocity, aerial velocity is d a d t. So, this is nothing but half r cross r d theta d t. So, this is nothing but can be written as half r cross r omega and you know r omega is nothing but r cross v vector. So, d a d t is nothing but half of r cross omega. So, to find v vector equal to nothing but dr by dt. So, what is the uh, uh, derivative with respect to t? So, this is minus omega a sin omega t i cap and this is b omega cos omega t j cap. So, this is okay. So, this uh, is the v vector. So, what is the value of r cross v? So, to find the r cross v, r cross v is nothing but i cap, j cap, k cap. The r is a cos omega t and this is b sin omega t. This is 0 and this is minus omega a sin omega t and this is minus b omega cos omega t and this is 0. So, if i cap this is 0, this is 0, j cap this is 0, this is 0 for k cap, k cap this is minus a b omega cos square om, omega t and for this is plus, uh, is there, oh, so this is plus, so this is plus and this is plus a b omega sin square omega t. So, if you take this common, so a b omega k cap this is the r cross v so find the aerial velocity so the aerial velocity d a d t is nothing but half r cross v what is the value of r cross v a b omega k cap so this is the aerial velocity aerial velocity right which is constant this is the second law of k plots go to the next question prove that the square of the period of the planet uh, in the motion around the sun proportional to the q of the major axis of their elliptical path this is nothing but the k plus third law so to know uh, to prove this formula in the previous formula we get we got d a d t aerial velocity is constant so this constant taken x c okay this constant taken x c and in the in this book that is spiegel book in vector analysis spiegel book you know the polar equation polar equation of uh, polar equation of ellipse is nothing but r equals to h square by gm for planetary motion this is for planetary motion p by gm cos theta and for normal case this is b square by a 1 plus e cos theta you know a is the major axis semi major axis semi major axis and b is the semi minor axis that's mean if this is a ellipse so this is a and this is b right and E is a eccentricity, eccentricity and you know b square equals to a square 1 minus e square. This is all about the geometry. So, by comparing these two, we can say b square by 
A is nothing but P by GM. What is P? What is P? P is the time period. Time period or revolution. Time period of revolution. So, the area can be written as, so if you take total area uh, for revolution, is ellipse area is pi AB and total time as P. So, this time is P equals to constant. So, if you square in this, so pi square, a square, b square, p square equal to c square. Put the b square is a, uh, a p by g m. Put the value of b square is, there is some mistake. Uh, there is some mistake. Right, right, right. b square by a is h square by g m. This is the h square by g m. Right. Sorry. So, if you put the value of b square, this is a h square by gm. So, this is a square. What is the value of b square? This is a h square by gm and in the lower side, this p square is goes into c square p square. So, you can see the a q is proportional to p square. So, this is the third law, third law of Kepler, Kepler planetary motion. Okay. So, in this way, we can prove this third law of Kepler planetary motion. Thank you. This is all about me and this is my contact details. You can contact with me by this WhatsApp number or the Telegram channel. And this is my YouTube channel details. Go to this channel and can see the uploaded video. And share this video to your friends as that he or she can also benefit by this video. And subscribe this channel if you know not uh, subscribe up to that. And press the bell icon to get the notification when we will uploaded the video thank you take care we'll meet in the next video as soon as possible